Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to grease the transmission in your snowblower. What I do is I put it up on its front end like this. I did put a piece of wood to slightly bring the angle back. And you want to make sure you have no fuel or oil leaks while it's up like this. You can either empty out some of the fuel or take the cap off, put a bag there and then screw it back on. This will prevent fuel from leaking out. And for safety purposes, it never hurts to unplug the spark plug boot if you can. First you'll need to remove the cover. Today I'm using my impact with a 3.8 socket. And here's the inside of the transmission on this MTD snowblower. There's not too many parts that need to be lubricated in here. As a matter of fact, when you do lubricate them, you don't want to put too much because you don't want that grease to get on these critical parts over here. If you get any grease on this part here or the rubber ring here, your transmission will slip. Now a very important thing to do before you grease your transmission is to clean some of the parts. I grab a rag, a clean one actually, some straight gas. I just put it onto the rag like this. And then I clean the disc over here. To move this part over here, just shift the shifter. And you can see a lot of dirt came off or grease. Now I'm actually going to clean this shaft here with my gas rag as well. What I'm doing here is cleaning off all the old grease that gets hard. It actually becomes harder to shift if there's old grease sitting here that's really sticky. Now to clean the other part, just move the shifter again. And you can turn the wheels to make the shaft turn. Now it's nice and dry. What I like to use to grease up the shaft here that the drive disc slides on is lithium grease. That's my number one choice. My second choice is to use my oil can. What I have in here is transmission oil mixed in with motor oil. I do have a video showing me mixing the oil in this can. The link is in the description under the video today. And here's the lithium grease. It's a small tube like this. Now it's going to be a lot more expensive to buy grease like this than to use oil like I showed you earlier. However, this grease will stay nice and soft during the winter. So what I do is I put a nice thin film all around the shaft. I turn the wheel to turn the shaft so I get every surface. Then I move the shifter to the opposite direction. It clears the shaft so I can finish up the other side. And again, repeat the process. Just move the wheels so that you can get all surfaces of this shaft. And you don't need much grease. And now that you have this shaft greased up, you want to grease up the gears on this one. On this snowblower, there are not too many gears. You're going to get some snowblowers with gears and chains. If that's the case, you'll have to be extra cautious not to get any grease on these critical parts here. If you do have chains, what I recommend is that you buy a can of chain lube. Or you can use some oil that you've mixed into a can. And to grease up these gears, you can use this white grease that I have here. Or you can just use a multi-purpose grease. Again, make sure that in the winter time it will be spreadable or that it will not get too thick. Also, you can purchase snowmobile grease that will definitely be a low temp grease as well. For today, I'm just going to use this can over here. It's quite cold outside today. It's minus 20 degrees Celsius. As you can see, even though it's minus 20 degrees Celsius outside, this grease is still nice and soft. And I'm going to spread a little bit all around the gear. Not much. And you can turn the wheels to do this. And by the way guys, you should do this maintenance every season. You can wear some examination gloves while you do this if you don't want to get your hands dirty. And what I'd like to do is put some oil on the bushing over here. Again, make sure the oil does not go on the dry discs. Just wipe off any excess oil. On this side here, it's a little bit more difficult, but I'm going to go through the gear to do this and just put some oil here. Another good thing to do on your snowblower is remove the wheels while you do this. Now I like to apply a bit of oil on the outside part of the bushing that I oiled earlier. You want the oil to get between the bushing and the shaft. And although the wheel is stationary to the shaft, I like to add some grease so that the wheel does not seize to the shaft. You can also use anti-seize on here if you want. 
and I'll reinstall the wheel, hold the other wheel so the shaft doesn't slide out the other side. And make sure to put the pin back in the same hole you took it out of. Some shafts have two holes. And I'll repeat the process on the other wheel. And that's all there is to greasing up this specific snowblower today. Before you put the belly pan back on, you want to make sure that the drive discs are super clean. And I'll just simply reattach the belly pan. And I'll make sure to reattach the spark plug boot. Now by doing this maintenance, you're going to prevent a lot of wear and tear on your critical parts in your snowblower. Again, putting the grease on the shaft so that the wheels come off easier the next time is a big bonus because you're going to be very happy next time you work on your snowblower and the wheels come off very easily. Also greasing the shaft that the drive disc slides on will make it a lot easier to shift your gears. This one's very easy. Sometimes the grease gets old and it's very hard to shift gears. And the best part of it all is that your machine will last a lot longer if you do this every year. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.